What's up guys, my name is Crescent. What if I told you that you can actually see how your competitors' PPC campaigns are performing and thereby optimize your own PPC campaigns based on that data? Sounds nuts, right? Well, you can, and I'm gonna show you in this video how to do that. Perpetua, the sponsor of today's video, has a free groundbreaking tool that provides insights that allow you to understand your Amazon PPC performance compared to your competitors. The Benchmarker tool allows you to analyze and compare your ad performance based on your individual products, category, country, and even by the ad format. It gives you the ability to identify strengths and weaknesses relative to your competitors and understand what you should focus on improving. All right, so let's dive right in. First, to get access to the free Benchmarker tool, click the link down in the description below, sign up for the free account, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help out this channel more than you know, and I would really appreciate it, so thank you. Okay, so once you've done that, make sure you click on Benchmarks at the top, and you'll see a powerful summary of your PPC campaigns in comparison to your competitors. This is gonna give you an overview of how well your KPIs or key performance indicators are performing in comparison to your competitors. You can see that in this case, it says there's room for improvement. The best KPI is the conversion rate at 8.88%, and the worst is the click-through rate at 0.21%. And here, we can see the performance funnel. With over 14 million impressions, we had a click-through rate of 0.21%, and you can see that it's highlighted in red. That means it's performing worse than our competitors. And if you hover the mouse over it, we can see that our competitors are actually averaging a click-through rate of 0.6%. So armed with that data, we know that we have lots of room for improvement here. We can see that we got 30,000 clicks, which led to a conversion rate of 8.88%, which is performing better than our competitors. We can see the average is actually far lower at 5.84%, so we're doing well here. We got 2,600 orders with an average order value of $54.24 for a total of $145,000 in sales revenue. We can also see that we have a cost per click of $1.10, which is worse than our competitors, that they're only paying 82 cents per click. So again, lots of room for improvement here. And finally, we can see our ACoS is 22.84%, which in this case is right on par with our competitors, which are averaging 25%. Now, if you wanna see how your PPC campaigns have been performing compared to your previous month, you can click on the month over month changes button here, and you can quickly see how well your KPIs have been performing compared to your previous month. Can you see how powerful this tool is? Without this data, it's difficult to tell if your campaigns are actually doing well for the type of product that you have and the category that it's selling in. You can identify precisely where you need to improve. Now, if you want more granular data, we can dive deeper into how your products themselves are performing. If we head on over to the performance matrix, this graph lets you quickly and easily see how well your products are selling compared to how much you're spending on ads. For example, products that fall in the dark green top left quadrant are products where your sales have gone up while your ad spend has gone down, which is good. Whereas the red lower right quadrant, your sales have gone down and your ad spend has gone up. Likewise, products that fall into the shaded top right quadrant are products where the sales and ad spend have gone up. And the lower left quadrant are products where the sales and ad spend have gone down. And products that fall in the center gray area, sales and ad costs haven't changed that much. So for example, product number nine here, the camping chair, sales have increased and the ad costs have gone down. And if we click on it, we can see a detailed breakdown of the KPIs. We can see that the ad spend has gone down by 3.45%, while the sales have gone up by 43.86%, which resulted in the A cost going down by 32%. Isn't that awesome? And if we take a look at product number seven, the beanbag chair, we can see that the ad spend has gone down by 6.81%, but sales also went down by 35%, which increased our A cost by 43%. Pretty cool to see, right? Now, if we move on to the impact drivers section, this waterfall graph shows us at a glance which products are contributing the most positively or negatively to our month over month performance based on the main KPIs. For example, if we choose which KPI we wanna look at here, such as ad sales, we can see that the doormat is the best performing product 
and has the biggest positive contribution to our month over month performance. It generated $36,000 in sales, an increase of nearly $27,000 compared to the previous month. And if we switch this over to ad spend, we can see that we spent $10,000 on ads for the doormat, which is $9,000 more than the previous month. But by doing that, generated $27,000 more in sales. Powerful, right? And as we move down the graph, we can see the next best performing product is the stool, then the capping chair, and so on. And the worst performing product is this waste bin. We can also view this data in a table format here, or as a tree map. I actually prefer the tree map myself. These all show the same data, just in a different layout. Okay, so if you wanna see a breakdown of all the KPIs, we can jump over to the product analysis section. This is where we can see how each KPI is performing by product. Make sure to choose benchmark, and we can see each KPI's performance compared to our competitors' products. For example, this baby basket is performing very poorly compared to our competitors. We can see that the ACoS is at 42% compared to our competitors at 24%. The conversion rate is at 3.79% compared to 5.43%. The click-through rate is 0.22% compared to 0.48%. And the cost per click is at 44 cents compared to 27 cents. So again, with this data, we can know exactly where we have room for improvement and precisely which metrics we need to optimize in our PPC campaigns. For example, if your cost per click is too high, you're overpaying for your keywords resulting in a bad ACoS. If it's too low, you're missing sales. So you wanna look into optimizing your bids. Or if your click-through rate is too low, you're reaching fewer customers than you could with your ads. Look into making your ads more appealing. Compare different product images and make your targeting more relevant. If your conversion rate is too low, you're losing potential customers that actually visit your product page, resulting in missed sales. Look into improving your persuasiveness of your product listing. Identify weak spots in your photos, bullet points, and description, or even your A-plus content. And if your ACoS is too high, your ads are not efficient, meaning you're making less profit or even losing money with each sale. Work on improving your cost per click, click-through rate, and conversion rate as well as removing non-profitable keywords from your campaigns. So can you see how having this data available to you, you can now make an actionable plan to optimize your PPC campaigns? Again, if you wanna see how each metric has performed compared to your previous month, you can switch it over by clicking on the month over month changes option here. Now, if we jump down to the ad format section, we can see a summary of our PPC campaigns compared to our competitors based on the ad type and category. For example, we can see here that 80% of our campaigns are sponsored products ads, and the remaining 20% are sponsored brand ads, whereas our competitors, on average, have 88% sponsored product ads and 12% sponsored brand ads. We can also see a breakdown of how well each ad type is performing compared to our competitors. We can see that the overall performance rating here is 2.5 stars, which is average. You can see here that it says, your overall performance in your category on a scale of one to five, with five being the highest performing top 20% and one having the most room for improvement, the bottom 20%. And we can also see a breakdown of how well each type of ad is performing compared to our competitors here. For example, we can see with our sponsored ad performance, the ACoS is on par at 22%, where the average is at 25%. The conversion rate is 8.88%, with the average being 5.84%, which is good. Cost per click is at $1.10, with an average of 82 cents, so we're overpaying here. And the click-through rate is 0.21%, with an average of 0.6%, so we're managing only a third of what our competitors are converting. There's a lot of room for improvement here. And if we take a look at the sponsored brand's performance, the ACoS is 35%, with an average of 29%. Conversion rate is 13%, with an average of 7%. The cost per click is 50 cents with an average of 64 cents. And the click-through rate is at 0.1% with an average of 0.38%. Powerful data. And if you need help with optimizing your Amazon PPC campaigns, Perpetua has automated tools available to you here. And if you want to speak to one of their PPC experts, you can actually chat with one of them by clicking here. Again, this benchmarker tool is absolutely free. You can get access to the benchmarker tool by using my link 
go.crescentkale.com slash benchmarker or click the link down in the description below. And if you wanna learn how to start your own Amazon business, I have a 100% free Amazon FBA course that has over five hours of training and you can join by clicking right over here.